Welcome to the Tradex Foods 3-Minute Market Insight. This is Robert Ryerson and here's the seafood news for the week of October 29th, 2018. In this week's episode, we review sockeye salmon. This week's 3-Minute Market Insight is brought to you by GQ Freight. GQ Freight, an industry leader, recognizing that real-time GPS tracking of your refrigerated truckload shipments is no longer a luxury, but a necessity. GQ Freight, excellence delivered on time, every time. 2018 turned out to be a record-breaking year for Bristol Bay sockeye. Let's take a look at the sockeye market outlook for the remainder of the year. According to the Alaska Department of Fish and Games news release, the 2018 inshore Bristol Bay sockeye salmon run totaled 62.3 million fish. This is the largest run on record and the fourth consecutive year that inshore sockeye runs exceeded 50 million fish. The commercial harvest total for sockeye in Bristol Bay hit 41.3 million fish. This number is 10% above the preseason forecast of 37.6 million fish and is the second largest harvest on record. The ADF and G have yet to release sockeye harvest totals for the Prince William Sound area. However, preliminary in season harvest estimates are showing 1.3 million fish harvested which is approximately 130,000 less fish than 2017. In the Canadian fishery, the Fraser River sockeye totaled 5.57 million fish as of September 28th in the report by the Pacific Salmon Commission. Pre-season forecast from the Department of Fisheries and Oceans predicted a Fraser River sockeye run size of 14 million fish. High water temperatures and low fish survival are contributing factors to the low sockeye harvest in the Fraser River. Let's go over to the, our salmon specialist Rob McNutt to discuss the market outlook for sockeye. Prices have not softened yet. Quality's definitely been suspect this year. Lots of rejections and claims for poor quality. There have been rumblings that the sockeye is not moving at the retail level as much as it was anticipated due to the high cost of the raw material. There is potential come end of winter fall that there could be some volumes being released back onto the market. A lot of processors went straight to fillet production rather than speculate and hold H&G. There are very few H&G offers on the open market right now. Most vendors are saying they're holding their inventories for their own production which if my theory is correct, will cause a good volume of H&G to become available due to lack of sales at the retail level. This is just my prediction, but I can say firmly, there's not much sockeye available right now. Keep tuned in over the next couple months because I feel buyer's commitments and sales will start to slow down and H&G sockeye will start to become available at a lower price. To wrap this episode up, our Tradex Live offer of the week is for 8 to 16 ounce Sinbad Pacific Cod fillets. These are produced in our Sinbad house brand, which is backed by our seven step quality control process and 100% net weight guaranteed. We have 15,000 pounds available ready for immediate pickup at 350 a pound US dollars FOB Los Angeles. Click or tap the icon above to view this offer. Thank you for joining me for the Tradex Foods 3 Minute Market Insight. This is Robert Ryerson. Buy smart and eat more seafood.